Uh, hello, and welcome to a, another Pauper League. Uh, this week, I've been doing pretty badly, so I've gone back to an old favourite, an old reliable in Boros Bully. So, I took this for a spin in a league, I went 4-1, and it's been the best result I've had in quite a while, so uh, I thought I'd make a video on it, and we'll see how we go. So, it's... Uh, Boros Flashback, I guess, is another name to call it, which, because the bully aspect no longer exists. So, uh, it leverages the power of Faithless Looting as a draw engine uh, to, like, put flashbackable cards into your graveyard to give you that uh, pseudo-card advantage, along with uh, Thraben Inspector, which replaces itself, and Squadron Hawk that draws itself. So, it's, like, very... It's very aggressive with Battle Screech plus Ready the Peasants, uh, and it also like digs very deep with all the Faithless Lootings and like discard effects. So uh, Mana Base is just four of four of like four of Gainland, four of Garrison, a couple of Ash Barons because sometimes you need to fix your mana, and then just a swath of basics. Uh, Garrison's good because it's you can bounce the lands to return with Faceless Looting. It also allows you to like plant Ash Barons, bounce it, cycle it, etc. Um, really love any of the bounce lands. Not great in the LD meta, but uh, got to get some card advantage where you can. I'm running three Lunark Veteran in this version. Some used to run four. Uh, it you can it's a good thing to discard because you can disturb it back. Uh, it's good with Battle Screech, gains your Polar Life. Uh, just a solid one drop that the deck didn't really need before it arrived, but it's been happy to have it ever since because there's like otherwise you got like Sacred Cat and whatnot, but this one just does like a 1 1 flyer is much better than a 1 1 lifelinker in this deck because you've got no gates to pump it. Thrabin Inspector, I love this card. Uh, any white deck, I love to put it in. I don't know what else to say. Uh, Faithless Looting is what the deck's built around. I've been running one of the Weird Art one because, I don't know, it seems to tilt some people. Lightning Bolt, best red interaction in the format. Nothing more to say. This is this is the reason why you want to run, like, red instead of, like, Boros Bully instead of White Weenie is because of Lightning Bolt because White only usually has uh, Journey to Nowhere as its only interaction. So this gives you a little bit more reach and a bit more interaction. Which is, I mean, all the deck really needs. It also turns Guardian Pledge into Rally the Peasants, which is great. There's so many turns we just like battle, well, like you late into the game and you're on turn six and you just like battle Screech on turn five into Rally plus Flashback, and then that's five times four, that's 20 damage. So combo right there. Uh, interaction Seeker. I'm only running three because it's just a removal magnet. Um, you can, this is probably like the flex slot. You can put whatever you want in here. It's pretty good at just putting pressure on by itself. It's also good with like gaining a bit of life back against the red decks. I mean, it's fine. It dies a lot. I never expect it to live, but it's good when it sticks around. Uh, Squadron Hawk. It's a two mana that draws you. F it's it's like a bad battle screech. It's, it's the battle screech that draws you three cards, but it just requires a bucket load more mana. Uh, yeah, try to cast Squadron Hawk as early as you can because you'll always draw another one and that makes you sad. <laughs> uh, I'm going with a split here. I'm trying Bitter Reunion in one of the slots. They usually just run three Thrilling Discovery because uh, it gains you... It's like a uh, Cathartic Reunion, but you don't get punished for it getting counted. It also gains you two life. So that's pretty relevant. And Bitter Reunion I thought would be cool with uh, just the haste bit, like being able to battle Screech and then attacking with them in the same turn. That seems pretty cool. So we'll give one of them a try. Somatic Strands, uh, red is everywhere. This is the perfect time for Strands to be good. It's also good against like Hexproof and whatnot. I mean, the in the 4-1 that I did, I literally won a game because all I did was like uh, turn three Prismatic Strands on a... Yeah, turn four, battle screech, flash it back, and then yeah, attack with these, play another prismatic strands, and then they were dead to the next turn's battle screech plus rally. So uh it's oh, just so good. I don't know what 
we would do in the format without it. This is one of the reasons why you want to run um, Flaring Pain, just because this card is so good. Uh, sideboard, we have Fairy Hate, uh, Blue Hate, so just a pile of Fairy Hate. Uh, this is also good against Familiars and what, like Fogtron and whatnot. Whenever you run red, you always run a pile of pyros in red. I'm running five because I didn't know what else to put in the slots. Three, to, four dust to dust. Uh, you could argue some of these could be um, Gorilla Shaman, but dust to dust just feels better, especially against the indestructible lands and Kenku. Kenku gives you fits, so you need to get rid of Kenku somehow. Uh, you've got some journeys, but dust to dust is just an extra thing. Uh, yeah, uh, leave no trace. Uh, Hexproof is annoying. Leave no trace makes them not happy uh and don't bring a cleric didn't know what else to put in this slot to be honest i just went with this because red's everywhere and hexproof's everywhere so this just sort of goes in between them both uh and also like exiles cards from graveyards against familiars and whatnot unsure what i should actually put in this i might actually like i feel like more removal might be better against like i don't know walls because we've only got like eight pieces of interaction, so maybe that's a better option. I don't know. Maybe Relic. People like Relic. It's good against like familiars and terror, slows them down a bit. So this this is a flex slot. So I like the five blast and the four dust at us though. So uh, yeah, uh, deck's fun. Uh, we'll see how screechy we get in these upcoming games. All right, round one, first in Hamster Master. Uh, cannot keep this hand. It looks all right. If we had a second land, it'd be great, but we can't with only one land. Uh, now we have two lands. This is good. We even got a Squadron Hawk to refill. I think I want to discard. I think I'm just going to put back a Thraben Inspector because I need the two lands. This refills. Yeah, because I'm going to probably do this on turn two. As much as I like throw up an inspector. All right, so against burn, this is why we kept the strands. What well, they might get down to? No, they're six, I guess, but they played two things. That's why it looks like they've done a lot. Well, lost a lot of cards in hand. We've got to get the white down, so may as well gain my one life I lost. And then I'll expect a... Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a... Kessig Flame Breather. Well, they had the land that they probably didn't have in hand. So that's a bit rough for me. Nothing. Okay. Veteran. So we play the land. By Squadron Hawk, get three copies... I'm one over. So maybe I use the mana now. So I'll face looting and throw an inspector. Uh, I mean, Lunark Vetons are pretty good. I don't think I need the Thrilling Discovery at this point in time. I don't need to dig any deeper. I'd rather keep all the things I've got. Even though I should probably, like, try and find a land. I'm fine with just keeping the strands at the graveyard for now. If they try and bolt the inspector, then that's fine. Double land of the synth. Discarded land. Okay, so they, did, they didn't want lands. <laughs> <laughs> no attacks. Well, they must have nothing. I also don't have a lot, but then I should be digging for another land. Let's get rid of these squadron hawks out of my library.
I'll take with the inspector. I'm willing to take one damage from the epicure. Or am I? Yeah, I'll take it. Hmm. And from here, and play the synth. Exiles something that they can't play. An impulse, which is good. Now that, okay, now we need to try to find a land. <laughs> Didn't get there. Uh, but we can still do this. So, discarded the Battle Screech, so now we can cast it and gain two life. And we've got two strands in the bin if we need them. Rebirth. Okay. I haven't seen a rebirth for a while. Fire blast and epicure. I guess if they fire blast me, I'll strands. But I'll probably just keep the strands for when they attack with everything. So I can block and kill a pole of their team. I'll take this. This is fine. Hmm. I guess that's also fine. I mean, they're running somewhat low on cards. I just can't find any lands. So I've got to start attacking in the air. So I think I'm just going to get back this guy. Because it just gains me more incidental life than just playing at random Squadron Hawk. And then we'll attack in the air with the three. Because all I need to do is get to a point where I get one more land and then I can rally and do a decent amount of damage in the air. Uh, this is fine. Can't prevent that. I can't prevent that, but I don't really want to. Going to take him in just a samurai? Oh, the whole team. Okay. Okay, I think now's the time where I want to use one of the strands. Rents me three damage, kills two of their creatures. Ash Barons, okay. 
do I want to just play it so I can... I can't even play two things because I need double white. I can flashback Faithless Looting, discard these two, try to find another land. But how much damage does this do in the air? So all these will be three, so that's 12. Three fours are 12. So that is not enough to kill them. So I need to chip in for, because I need to, need to play another flyer. Which gets me another three. So that's be 15, so I can chip in with one flyer. But they'll probably dig for a burn spell. Hmm. Well, they're going to crank this next turn. They'll probably crank this end of turn. I guess I just try and aim for this rally to be a win. So let's get a white source. Just play a Squadron Hawk. And I'll attack with all the birds. I go to 12. And we've set up for a rally next turn. Spear is fine. I might block the samurai because this inspector is not doing anything anyway. So I'll block this so I take no damage, and then I'll kill the epicure. Red. And then make another samurai. And then they're dead in the air. Sweet. And even if they got a fire blast to kill one of them, that's still exactly 12. Okay. Double prismatic strains against red. It's what you want to see. So, I usually take out a bit of reunion. Against rebirth, I think I want some electricaries. So you want to keep the flashbacks. So you need to keep strains. So they'll bring in um, relics because they just hate strains. So they're going to bring in relics no matter what. So you can try and like avoid putting them in your graveyard and just holding onto them. But I think I need like I've got all of these cards that I can bring in. Like clerics, okay, but I think I like thrilling discovery more. It does sort of the same thing. And you got like you got enough life gain in the three seekers and the three Lunark veterans, so I don't think it overly matters too much to bring in the Dawnbringer clerics. Like they're sort of there as a hedge against red if you need to, but otherwise I mainly just keep them in for um like hex proof and whatnot. So we'll take out the reunion. 
Do I take out one journey? Because Bolt will kill anything else, and journey's a little too slow. So maybe I'll take out a couple to journey. And I'll keep it, and I'll keep it a, a cleric, sort of like a journey anyway. So we'll just go with that. You could take out a rally, but I mean, rally won me that last game. You just need to do like one decent push, and that's all. Okay, they kept so will I. Swift spear, always swift spear. All right, I think I'm just gonna start with a Lunark veteran. Because going into two Lunark Veterans seems pretty good. I assume they'll die, but the incidental life gain will be pretty great. Well, there's an end to festivities. So I'll be playing the Thraven Inspector instead. <laughs> I think I'd rather just... Oh, maybe I should have blocked... Because they're going to cast the end of festivities no matter what, because it's just going to disappear. So I would have prevented two damage instead of gaining one life. I mean, I can attack in. Because it's going to die anyway. So I get to do a point of damage if that matters. There it goes. I'll take the two. I'll leave the inspector for another turn. Garrison. All right, I might just play a cleric. We'll just play the Partial long game for now. And what land do I want to return? I guess the planes. The one life isn't too much. I'd rather try and play two cards next turn. I can squadron and seeker. I feel like I should squadron like as early as possible so I don't have the likelihood of drawing anymore. It just feels so bad when you do draw them. I feel like there's a bolt coming for my door and bring a cleric. Yep. Six. Um... Yeah, sure. I'd rather keep it around to block an X1. Battle Screech's fine, but I'd rather try to get that after I play a Lunark Veteran. So, I think we go this and this one, because this will gain us more incidental life than a Squadron Hawk will. And if the secret way lives, then I get to play and cast flashback of battle screech, which will gain me a bucket load of life. But I assume it's not going to live. I'll attack with the team. So block here. Block here. They have fire blast. One, two. Oh, this this is good. it sacrifices as well. So this will be three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that will kill me. Oh. 
Hmm. So they got a lightning bolt. If they got a lightning bolt, then all well, damage first is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they got seven creatures. If I block nothing and they lightning bolt me, I'm dead. If I block just two middling creatures, that means it's five plus two is seven for any spell. So then it needs to be fire blast to kill me or a lava dart. If I block like this, I take the lava dart does kill me too as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The bolt goes up to a bit. I think I want to do that. Down to six. All right, and we live. That's good. Veteran. I think I still just want to battle screech. Even though I, <laughs> I've got two veterans in hand, it feels so bad. But just being able to like play the seeker, gain four life off the seeker, seems too good not to do. Tank with just a seeker. So then I only took one damage last turn. Uh, so that was a land. Back in with everything again. So I think I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I get an extra block. So now am I dead to Fire Blast? So this will be three, four, five, six. I am still dead to Fire Blast. So maybe I block here. Ooh, bolt. Bolt's pretty good. Um, I guess we play Lunar Veteran. Play a Squadron Hawk. Gain a life. Get some Hawkies. Uh, bolt. A swift spear, I guess. And then attack with everything bar the Thraban Inspector. Alright, now we're back above what we were two turns ago. So we should be fine from here. Sweet. Well, that was pretty easy. Didn't even see Australians that game. But a Seeker left unchecked is pretty good. So this is the problem with the Cadolitha version. It just doesn't run enough, like, interaction. They used the one lightning bolt they had on a Dawnbringer Cleric, which they soon regretted. But I suppose they drew five lands and I only drew three, so... Oh, well, we take the wins where we can, especially against red. So we'll see how we go on the next one. Alright, round two on the play versus not that bad. Yes, we'd like to go first. This is fine. We can keep this. Double faceless looting's a bit rough, but it should hopefully gain us some value later on. Hmm, blue. Alright, play it on tap land so we can crack the clue. 
and then next turn we can Faithless Looting. Well, Garrison Faithless Looting. So it looks like I'm up against Terra. Getting a couple of journeys is pretty good there. So, Blade of Red. Bounce it back, Faith of Saluting. We'll play the weird looking art one. Just to freak him out. Spell Pierce, that's fine. Uh, nothing else to do that turn anyway. I hope they tap out, so then I can screech into flashback and hope they don't have a suffocating fumes. Hmm, I just don't play anything. Am I game enough? They just brainstorm lock themselves, which is pretty funny. But they're keeping up mana. Hmm. All right, well, I guess they'll see if they've got it. Oh, they might be um, snuffing out my inspector, which might also present a problem, because then I can't flash back that turn. No, oh, just a second spell piece. Okay. That is annoying, but, I mean, they've brainstorm locked themselves, so. Yeah, stopping the upkeep. Mill yourself. Yep. Oh, they hit the land. Uh, Terra, okay. All right, well, I can get rid of that one. Just get back a mountain. Attack for one. Then we'll see. Do I have to do it again? No. Oh, okay. Uh, let's just flash back this looting. Let's try and get as much value as we can. Okay, well, I do not want either of these. Uh, I guess I just cast Faithless Looting again. Discarding. I think I want to cast the Seeker of the Way this turn. I don't think I need any more lands, so I'll just get rid of the two lands. So then I can cast Seeker and attack for one. Hey, the Seeker gained me four life. I mean, made them lose four life. Got to attack in twice. Mountain. Uh, Alright, flashing back face is looting. After missing their third land drop, they haven't missed one since. Do they want to counterspell this? Seems like a waste. I mean, Journey is the best card in this matchup. The fact that I've drawn three of them is pretty great.
just bring in a pile of hydros for the sideboard. And just hope they don't have a pile of fumes. Ooh, Squadron Hawk. I'll definitely counter that if I play it. So let's just attack with the Inspector and bring back the Lunark Veteran. Because I don't need any more lands. So I'd rather keep this to try to increase the clock a bit. The Lunark Veteran doesn't really matter in play, so I'd rather just discard it and play it for value. So they need to hit a couple of big boys with counter spell backup. Here is Gurmag. So it, that means it's journey time, which will get counter spell. So then it's journey time, which cannot get counter spelled. Uh, and then we squadron hawk. Sure. The snuff out on one ones is really weird. <laughs> All right. And if they don't get a well, if they don't get a blocker, then they're dead to the lightning bolt. But they've got a blocker. They get a unexpected fangs. Probably take the mental note, right? Yeah. Got nothing? Got nothing. Alright. They weren't even dead. Do I keep the bolts in? Hmm. Alright. So things we definitely keep. Journeys. Just the creatures in general. Looting is fine because it helps us dig to what we need. These, at least I don't have to discard as part of the cost because they're terrible against counter spells otherwise. I guess I don't need bolts. Because they're going to bring in Hydros anyway, so I'd rather try to, like, beat Hydros with Pyros. And I can bring in Dawnbringer Clerics if I want to try to, like, pick off random things from their graveyard, but it doesn't really seem that great. And Strands isn't too fantastic, but it works. Like, it's just value with the Faceless Leadings. It's the main, re main reason they're there. But I think I'd rather rally the Peasants. And I think, like, they run some sort of graveyard hate, so it's not that great. We'll try this. We'll see if taking out the bolts is the wrong answer. Uh, this is fine. No journeys, but... I've got... some amount of clock. Ugh. I might even just play the Squadron Hawk next turn so I don't have to draw another one. No spells, which is good. Let's just get two, because that's all I can. We'll attack for one. We'll attack for four, <laughs> and then die. 
Well, they got to have fumes if they're snuffing out a Seeker of the Way, right? Or maybe they think they can get out a Gurmag or something this turn. Well, they can't get out a Gurmag. Yep. Okay. So, play Seeker. Which may also get snuffed out. But that's fine. Ooh, deep analysis. Alright, expecting a big boy this turn. Yep, there's one. And two, they have a go mag as well. Okay. And all I've drawn is a pile of lands, which is not great. Play Seeker. I think I just pass. Oh, I'll take with the bird. That's fine. If they're doing that, that must mean they have the fangs. Oh, they don't. Okay. Still nothing. A Lunark Veteran. Into Squadron Hawk. Gain a life. All right, we'll attack with the Squadron Hawk. I think I'll just play the other one as well. Sure, that means I'm not holding up anything anymore, but... I've got nothing to hold up. So I may as well try and attack in the air. That's fine. That's also fine. That's what I was expecting. Take with just one. Sure. Interesting. I've also got nothing. Okay. Counter spell? Sure. Then we'll pass. Snow fangs, please. At this point, I don't think I want to play any lands. I'd attack with this. Okay. Okay, that's fair. Let's draw a card. There we go. But if they got another shrivel, then I mean, what can I do? <laughs> uh. Can't really attack with the Seeker. I'll keep it back to block, attack in the air. So then I've got enough power in the air to kill them. Next turn. Yep. At least I gained some life. Seems risky. Alright, well, let's try this. See if they can a spell for it. Okay. 
Let's get rid of this garbage. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. All right, I'd rather keep that for next turn. Another Gurmag. Okay. Uh, I can take that. I just gotta hope they don't have two counter spells. Well, that also helps. So, one, two, three. I don't think the playing the land matters because I can't even stop the spell pierce. So I guess we just attack in and hope for the best. Uh, rally. Nothing else that trades. Okay. Maybe I should have counted that. All right, cool. Got nothing. I expected it was expecting like a fangs or something in one of these, and then I'd have to try to like, I don't know, blast it, and then they can spell me. But woo, we beat the shrivel. Beat multiple shrivels. I don't know how we did that. I guess having two toughness creatures works. Sweet. Uh, two zero. Let's keep going. All right. Uh Move my mic there for a second. Okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> Round three versus Zaza. Zaza. Uh, this hand doesn't do much. It's got a lot of lands. It'd be great if I get a Faithless Looting. Uh, it's. I'm on the draw. I'm gonna keep it, but I'm just saying that it's not fantastic. Or against Orzov, probably Ephemerate. Which they've got a better late game, so we need to sort of get in early. So I'm going to definitely curve in this veteran into the Seeker. And then try and bolt away whatever they've got. Okay. <laughs> this is not ephemerate. <laughs> Goodbye, Windscarred Crack. I hardly knew ye. Well, this is going to be some sort of control version thing. Hey, at least uh, my deck's pretty good against a discard. I think if they discard again, I'll get rid of one battle screech. Eat it. Goodbye, veteran. You served me well. Oh, you can't even come back. What a rip. Uh, let's go get a planes. We'll play this garrison. We'll attack with the Seeker. I mean, I could Lightning Bolt, but I don't think life really matters at this point. Ooh, they look like someone who wants to pestilence me away. Well, let's just let's just battle Screech. We might as well flash it back. If they've got a Crypt Rats, then hopefully they don't use it and I can strands. But otherwise, this just sort of does more damage in the long run. And also, they've shown an Edict. So trying, they've got Spot Removal. So going wider seems better at this point in time. And they're doing a whole lot of nothing. Which is good for me. Let's have to be wary of an arms of Hadar. 
And I probably should have played the Battle Screech. I think I'm still scared of the Crypt Rats. Oh, they just skipped their turn. Well, they almost skipped their turn. Castigate. Uh, yeah, sure. Is this old white black pest? Ooh, double bolt. Oh, that'll get him. Triple bolt, even. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's bolt. And then bolt. And if that doesn't kill them, nothing will. Yep. Sweet. Okay, so we literally saw three cards. So is this, like, mono black controls black splash castigate? Or is it the old white black pestilence? Which didn't usually run Raven's Crime? I do not know. Uh, I have nothing in the sideboard for this. This is not blue. There is no artifacts. I saw no enchantments. I guess Dawnbringer, if they are Pestilence, Dawnbringer might be alright. Like, I saw no creatures either, so, like, maybe Journey is bad. And just having more creatures that can survive a Pestilence or whatnot seems good, so let's let's try this. No lands. We can mulligan this. Uh, double Thrabin Inspector. I'm still mad at myself I didn't change it to the old boarded one. Uh, I did say Journey probably wasn't great, so we'll put that back. And they've mulligan to five on a deck running Raven's Crime. It's what you want to see. I don't think I'm even going to cycle this. I'm just going to do a turn one inspector, turn two inspector, windscard, crag. Or maybe just garrison. Well, there's a basilica. Garrison. Man, this this takes me back to like 2018. Good old Orzov Pest versus Boros Monarch. Attack with the team. Play a Seeker of the Way. Play Windscar Crag. Watch the Seeker of the Way died or cast down. Ooh, artifact land. Guardian, okay. So they are probably a Pestilence deck. So, can't really attack it anymore. That's pretty good. Uh, I think I might just crack the other clue. Oh, it's a tad, tad unfair. Goodbye, Battle Screech. Oh, Faithful Suiting. Okay. Desert. Uh, I am now officially confused. Ooh. What would they have? Uh, suffocating fumes? I mean, I gotta play it, right? I mean, I'm playing into something, but. Unsure what. Because 
Because even if they got Pestilence, I need another untapped Black Source to be able to kill my team now. Blood Fountain makes me think they've got Core Sky Fisher. Hmm. All right, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, rally? Uh, rally? Yep, okay. Probably could have attacked with the inspectors as well, but... I mean, the opportunity was there. You're going to start hitting in? Nope. Okay. Alright, well, let's see if they got another fumes. I'll keep the land in hand in case I draw a strand, I mean, a looting. Yeah, okay. Strains can't stop that. Uh, okay. I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> sure. All right, now they're going to start attacking in. Cleric. I guess I can get rid of a edict. I'll keep the lands. Goliath Paladin. Interesting. Does not attack with the Guardian. I've drawn a pile of bolts. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. I just want to see if they have Pestilence. I guess not. I guess the Guardian's just for the Goliath Paladin. Like the initiative so you can take it back. And a Thorn. I just need another creature. There we go. I mean, I'll do... I'll play two. And that'll do... What are they going to do? Good treasure, that's fine. I like how they're asking if I am well known. Because they somehow know my name. Well, that's nice. At least people know my name. I mean, sure, my YouTube channel doesn't have that many subs, but...
I play a lot of challenges. My name gets around everywhere. All right. Let's get in with some hawks. <laughs> Alright, please don't fumes me, bro. This figure's one. Cast down's the other. Okay. So that means we're going to be playing a couple more Squadron Hawks. Oh, there's nothing. Oh, it's a shame. And... Do I play the land? Nah. Okay, they might fumes me again. If they do, then I'm probably dead. Like, maybe I should have played three. I just didn't want to get completely blown out by another fumes, because then I'd have nothing to work with. Not much sure. Alright, taking another three from the Goliath Paladin. Oh, and the Thorn. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Edict. So long, Cleric. Five Vampire Sovereign, okay. Down to seven. Alright, so now we bolt the Vampire. Vampire. And then we attack in the air with both Hawks. Oh, I've got to wait until I drew that. Alright, so now I get the initiative and the monarchy. So now I need to just try to cut them off both with the strands. Let's get a mountain. That's fine. That was always going to happen. So now I need to... Journey... The Skeleton? And then I can bolt the thorn. Yeah, I'd rather just, I'd rather them not get the thorn back if they have an answer. Strands. Let's see what they attack with. Both. That's good. So now we just strands. Name white.
That's fine. I've got lots of garbage. Or what? Did they just got a bog? No. Do I keep the strands? Do I? Because the Dawnbringer does like gain me two edicts worth of fodder. If they bog me, then I've got nothing. I think I'd rather keep the strands because that gives me like. Uh, I need to keep the squadron hawk though. Yeah, I guess I guess the cleric does. Man, do you all have just nothing but lands? Interesting, interesting. Uh, I guess we scry. Do I just play Faithless Looting <laughs> with nothing in hand? I'll put, I'll put it on top. I probably should have kept the Bitter Union, actually. I'll keep it back. Now I can Strands for White again. They'll probably Edict me. And then i got to try to find another White creature. Edict, yep. Alright, come on, Thraben Inspector. Uh, do I want a skeleton? I just died to a desert, so I think I'm better off drawing a card. There's a Thraben Inspector. Uh, let's just get rid of the land from the library. Might as well draw a card. Ooh, might as well play it. Oh, I shuffled my library. <laughs> like, didn't I put that on the bottom? This is the problem with Initiative and Monarch, is that if you got it, then you just, like, go to town. If, you, if your opponent gets it, then you start to struggle. I mean, I'm still not in any sort of, like, winning position. But I'm better than what I was. All right, we'll just prevent. At least I get to see more of their deck too, because it's really weird. It's sort of like white black control. Ooh, I forgot about the blood fountain. I can replay the thorn. Yeah, okay. So they get a card back. All right, let's draw a card. Let's discard them. <laughs> discard this one. Journey. I think I need that for the Vampire Sovereign. And then our veterans okay. But I think I'd rather just Faithless Looting now. I get a Battle Screech. Which is good. Mm. 
So I discard... So that plus that gains me a bucket load of life. I sort of want to use this plus this to win me the game. So I need to keep this for the Vampire Sovereign. So I guess I just discard two lands. I'll play the Lunark Veteran. I don't think I'm dead just yet. I mean, if they hit a um, vampire off the throne, I'm dead. Take the throne back. Don't hit a Vampire Sovereign. Stonehorn? Boo. <laughs> Vampire Sovereign. Go to two. Bolt. Okay, so let's get rid of the Vampire Sovereign, because I can't block it. Do a Thrilling Discovery. I'll discard the Bolt. More Lunark Veterans. guess I'll play them. I don't have any lootings in the bin, do I? Alright, past turn. This looks like like Snap Bolt's white black initiative I mean white red initiative deck just with black cards instead of red cards. I guess there's no ephemerate, it's just like control with initiative. It seems okay, just a bit slow. I mean it's it's got me this game. It's fine. I suppose when you're drawing a pile of cards, Raven Crime's pretty good. It's going to make me discard again. Yeah, okay, I'll scoop. I've got nothing else. I needed that. I needed the Bitter Reunion plus the Battle Screech to try to win. I had that one opportunity, but they had the Suffocating Fumes, which I couldn't do anything about. So I guess we just run it back. The strands aren't great because I don't really have anything, but I mean, it's good against... Like, there's no... They're all Neg X, Neg X effects, so... The Dawnbringers were fine. So maybe I just bring in another Dawnbringer just so I have another creature. And we'll try that. I only had two journeys and I saw both of them. Uh, yeah, less, less things to have Neg1, Neg1 seems like a good option. So maybe I only need two strands. I'll bring another journey so I can stop the big things. Like getting rid of the Goliath Paladin seems good. Uh, so this is a little slower than what I like. But it's got a looting. I can keep. I think I'm going to just search for a planes so then I can inspect a plus looting next turn. Four.
Maybe I don't looting. Maybe I just play the inspector. And then I can discovery getting rid of these two. Which seems like great value. And then they'll bog me and then I'll feel sad. <laughs> Thought I may as well talk to them while I'm going. First time they've played a turn two wellspring. So they've got the deadly dispute action going on. Oh, Squadron Hawk. If I play it. I mean, I think I want to play it, right? It just gets me more cards. Just get two. Because I don't really want to discard. <laughs> nope, they're just building up. Oh, the desert. I don't even want to kill the squadron hawk. Uh, so let's discovery. Yes. Get rid of these two. And then... I guess I get rid of the other squadron hawk out of my library. Attack for two. Expect the inspector to get disfigured. Oh, okay. Stonehorn. That's fine. Uh, do I just flashback looting? I don't really want to play anything. Uh, I guess I can play looting? Discard... Land... this land and a Lunark veteran and then just flash it back. Can't attack. I don't really have any way of like, I haven't seen an ephemerate. So the Stonehorn only does like one turn. I'm not entirely sure the use of it. Actually, I probably should have played the Seeker of the Way. Oh, well, that makes the Seeker of the Way pretty moot. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five. Damn. Well, I've got to whack them now, right? For as much as I can. So that does nine. And then I'll play Seeker. That's fine. That was always going to happen. 
then we'll try Battle Screech, see if that resolves. Sure. Yep, that's fine. I might be able to just flash it back later. Ooh, three cards. That'll find something that you need. Oh, I should have stopped. I should have, yeah. I shouldn't have tapped out. I mean, press five. That was a mistake. Should have, yeah, passed priority. Because then I could have blasted them. Because they're dead to flashback uh, rally and these two plus the bolt. Oh, okay. Well, there goes my entire, my entire game plan. No. I knew it was a matter of time, but yeah, it sucks. It's two Faithless Lootings, too. Okay. Am I game enough to try again? I mean, I've got to be right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh... I guess that's good enough. I won't attack. That looked like a deadly dispute. I wonder what they're gonna take. Probably Journey. Oh, Dawnbringer, okay. Take it. Alright, well, attack. Didn't even desert. I guess I just passed because I don't think. Oh. I'll play this in case they play a um, Vampire Sovereign. Hey! I think we got there. Sweet. Alright. That was very interesting. We survived... Was it just one sweeper? Yeah. Got played by my own uh, passing of priority. The deck was cool. I like that. Just had to hope and pray they didn't have an answer, which they didn't. So we got there in the end. All right, 3-0. Let's see if we can keep going. All right, round four. Versus CRZMVX. Uh, this is a... Hopefully we're... Oh, it's not even that great against red, but... Got two lanes. Got things to play. We can keep. So it's like turn two this, turn three Seeker. Blitz. Okay. This will be scary. We have no interaction in our hand currently.
Gold is to them not have an interior. Like, they have no turn two play. So I can play Seeker on turn three, and then Bitter Union gain some life and hopefully go from there. Just got to try to, like, dig for either interaction or uh, prismatic strands and a faithless looting to bin it early. Oh, well, they got the turn two play. Rot row. Oh, this is strands. So I'm definitely blocking. If I don't die, then I can Squadron Hawk discard the Prismatic Strands. Oh, I may not have to block. Okay, I don't have to block this turn. So we Squadron Hawk. Get a pile of squaddies. Let me discard a veteran. Uh, I'll attack in. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I'm not blocking this turn. I'll just strands if I'm going to die. So we get rid of this. I feel like I want to like bolt and veteran next turn. So I guess I'll just get rid of a squadron hole. Good part about impulse is that it, like you know what's coming. Like, there's a Battle Rage. So this will be Festival Crasher. Do I take this? Yeah, that's fine. Didn't get a land. So I guess I play Lunark Veteran. Uh, bolt the Kiln Fiend. And then attack in the air. Oh, God. Maybe I should have kept back the Squadron Hawk, because at least then I'd kill the Festival Crasher. <laughs> so that's 16. So I've got a... I've got a Strands. There's a bolt. Interesting. Got two cards in hand. If they chain a pile of things together, I'm probably boned. I think I want to just try to find a... Just a land. Get rid of a seeker and a. S Do I keep the bitter reunion? I'll keep the bitter reunion. All right. Well, at least I've still got lightning bolt up. Guess we pass and try not to die. It's fine. I 
that's also fine. It's not as fine. Okay, so I can kill this, chump this, take 12. Is that right? So we kill this. I should have put on the other one. Oh, I guess it wouldn't have had four power. Guess I chump with just the squadron hawk. Take twelve. All right, now I play seeker. Oh, I'll probably block with them next turn. Squadron. Because I want to keep the Seeker up so I can attack with it. I just hope they don't peel a polar. Um, that's fine. Uh, let's do this. So I can gain a little life back. Journey. Festival Crasher is pretty scary. Alright, so let's get rid of the Festival Crasher. I'll attack with the Squadron Hawk as well. Go back to 11. And then I can attack with everything and double rally, and that should be enough to kill him. Or at least it'll give me a significant life swing with the Seeker. There we go. Hopefully I chopped that part out, because that took way too long. <laughs> Alright, don't repeat anything good. Don't attack. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I've even got strands up. All right, well, let's just attack with everything. See if they block the two Lunark veterans. They do. So let's kill them all. Uh... I think I'm fine with that. I don't need to kill him this turn. I'll keep up strains. They might have had a lightning bolt for the Seeker. That's fine. Let's 
So now I can just flash back the rally, tack in, GG. Sweet. Okay. That was very scary. What do I have? Uh, not a hell of a lot. So they'll be bringing in flaring pain, which is going to be even scarier. I don't even think the Dawnbringers are great here. I think we just stick with the game plan we've got. Dig to the interaction. If not, strands away. All right, uh, a Blitz player using their uh, clock to the fullest. Let's go with that. Uh, so let's mulligan this because we have no early interaction. This is a very slow hand. It'll just kill us on turn three. Uh, double bolt. We'll keep this. Double bolt and strands with a thrilling discovery. So I will oh, put back the planes. There's a turn where I can't hold up anything but I think that's fine I want to keep everything else like I could put back this but I feel like they're going to play something on turn two anyway so I should be able to bolt it play the garrison well have a turn off to be able to play the garrison rage hound that was unexpected. Uh, I guess I let that hit me. That's a good card for Blitz. It's a good card in, like, red matchups. Uh, like veteran, I'd rather, I need to keep for this. So let's get rid of the strands. And. Guess bitter reunion because at least this gives me some life, and I want all the bolts pos bolts as possible. So next turn I can veteran bolt. Are they a control deck now? <laughs> I'd rather keep... Oh, I suppose the bolt will... There we go. Let's do that one. And I don't think I need to keep up anything, so I'll just crack the clue. Get full mana value. Do they bolt me? Do they bolt the inspector? Do I... They bolt me, that's fine. And I will block this. Mutagenic? Sure. <laughs> What do you got? Kiln Fiend? Yep, yeah, okay. Ooh. I guess if I've got Battle Screech, I want to keep Veteran, right? But I want to keep Veteran. I guess this doesn't really matter. I guess I just play Veteran for the turn. I bolt this and I'll just garrison. They kill the veteran, that's fine. 
So next turn I've got Battle Screech into Lightning Bolt. Ah, Flaring Pain. Just going to cast it. Ooh, Kiln Fiend, okay. Take the three. Alright, so we Battle Screech. Cast it again. And then bolt the dog. Elemental beast. It's a flaring pain that they'll cast. And then probably bring... Well, you got to play it, right? You don't want it to just be sitting over there. I've got a prismatic stream. You'll have a counter for it later. And the one in my hand. Uh, yeah, okay. It's just another Festival Crasher. Hey, look, a Festival Crasher. They're letting the Flaring Pain go. Interesting. Alright, I'll kill it this time. It's, it's getting to be a little annoying. <laughs> Rally. Man, I should have got that last turn. Uh, do I just Inspector into Rally? And then I can attack with the Lunark Veteran as well. They can trade off with it if they want. I'm not too fast. It gets rid of one of their creatures. Let's see if I die. Because if I don't, they will. I guess I block one. They're both the same, so it doesn't matter which one I block. Yep. That's fine. If not very scary. Yep. Have you got the mutagenic to go with it? No, okay. Sweet. That means I win. Yep, sweet. 4 0. Been, this, been in this place a couple of times throughout the season, and it hasn't ended well. So let's see if I can finally get a trophy this season with like the oldest deck I've played so far. <laughs> well, played some weird decks though I guess we played Burn at the start and then it's been just strange things afterwards okay final round versus the boss Biko de Gaia uh, usually on Burn this is fine not the best against Burn but we got two Faithless to try to dig for a Prismatic Strands and the Mountain Hey, there's a Prismatic Strands. Uh, I guess I want to... Play... I guess I'm just Faithless Looting now. So I can at least like, have protection up for the Seeker with the Prismatic Strands. I don't need the Rally. Yet. Lightning Bolt's nice. It'll kill any Pingers if they play them. Well, I set up my white mana. Yep, pinger. Cool, it's dead. Another pinger? Sure. 
It's dead. Or... I'll play the Seeker. I can protect with the Strands, and then I've got Journey to... Get rid of it. That's fine. They're trying to find a land. They do not find, but they've got the land anyway. Land? Bolt the Seeker. Good play. I think I still want to keep it round. Red. And like, if I get rid of this, then like, these don't really do any damage next turn. Sure, the Seeker's probably going to die, but... That's fine. They've got the bolt for the seeker. Oh, and they've got to play lava dart, so it Yeah. So it doesn't disappear. Yep. Yeah, right the face. Cool. Squadron Hawk, that's what we want. So let's squadron hawk. It's going to die to a Lava Dart, but that's fine. And Inspector. Ooh. Card draw into card draw. Into pingies. He's got to land. No. Excellent. In that case, let's just screech away. Didn't want to tag with a Squadron Hawk because he's got the Lava Dart in the bin. So I'd rather get the damage in that I know I can get in. I'm going to play both of these. Ooh, wasn't expecting that main, otherwise I wouldn't have played it all. That's a bit rough. At least he gets rid of the Thermal Alchemist, I guess. Alright, so let's... I guess we just play a Faithless. So that would have been good a turn earlier. I guess I just try to keep this for the next lot of, um, like, battle screech. It's fine. Oh, that's not. Yep. Okay, I'll draw a card. Well, there's the battle screech. So... Hmm. Attack there. And then when they try to attack me for a lot next turn, all I do is strands. I guess I play the land. And then I can... Battle Screech. I can Squadron Hawk into Battle Screech. And then I've got strands up for... 
a potential and the festivities if they've got it. I think I'm happy with taking one now. And I've got to cast strands, right? And then it'll just blast me for a lot. Okay. Battle Screech. Flashback. Battle Screech. Play Squadron Hawk. Because in the festivities, it's a sorcery, right? Yeah. So I can, like, prismatic strands in their upkeep to make sure that they can't do anything. Because how much power have I got in the air? I've got seven birds. So I only need five to survive to kill them. So I guess the goal is to... Can you do this? I don't know, it's a sorcery. Okay, so I guess we do it in the upkeep. That stops the most amount of shenanigans from happening. So it means they can't activate these, they can't um, end the festivities. They can't chain lightning. And they can't like get pings off these from like Ren's Resolve and Impulses. So if they've got instant speed burn then That's fine. I just need them to not have three pieces to kill all my birds. What you got? Searing blaze. Well, that's one piece. Ooh, they might have enough. Yep, one bird. Oh, me, and then a fire blast in my face. Oh yeah, that's enough. That enough instant speeds to kill me anyway, so. May have not have made the right call, but. The alchemist kills me. Dang. 
well. So we bring in the Dawnbringers. Then I just don't think they're that great against this version. We just need all the interaction and prismatic strands we can get. So, my fault for not thinking they ran in, in the festivities, so. But we almost got there anyway. Uh, no red, can't keep this. Uh, this is fine. No strands, no interaction, but... It's got things. Do I keep the rally? I don't think I keep the rally. They had the lava dart in the graveyard anyway, as well, that they never used. So they had, like, plenty. So I don't know what I was supposed to do, to be perfectly honest. Relic is annoying, but fine. Um, wouldn't mind trying to play this plus something, but... Can I guess I just play the Inspector to try to do more damage? I guess the Squadron Hawk actually does... is better. So no, don't draw a Squadron Hawk, and they'll probably play a... Pinger that I can't get through. Land? Huh. Excellent. I love it when they keep a one lander. I'll just play another Squadron Hawk. Oh, gotta land now. Yep. Alright. Removal? Uh, sure. Do I even really want to play it? I feel like there's an end of festivities in my future. Yeah, I don't think I want to cast the Lunark Veteran. I'd rather discard it. I might discard a Squadron Hawk as well. Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, Relic can't get rid of the Lunark Veteran yet, but I think I still want to play it because it's a flyer and it gains me like if they um, do in the festivities. No lands. Yeah. Uh, am I expecting it in the festivities is the question. I mean, I can't really do anything if they have it, right? I will just try and be aggressive. I got a pile of life out of it. As well. And if they do, then they can't cast the pile of things in exile. I 
I mean, it counted a flame breather because they can't play it. Let's get rid of some garbage. I think I might just try to burn them out. Uh, let's... Do I... The flashback, the looting now. Nah... Don't think it's worth it. But I will play the land just so I can crack a clue. <laughs> They're in the festivities. Still no land? Sweet. Cool. Okay. How much damage does that do? I mean, I guess I might as well just use them both. Because that gets rid of this, which is annoying. Yeah, let's do it. If I cast it once, they're just going to exile it. So get through five damage, kill the alchemist. So Swiss Spear into end the festivities. Yep. Attack? Yep, sweet. Alright, so now I'm I can attack. Oh that's tempting. Guess we'll see what we draw. I think I want to. I just want to try to dig for a bolt. All right, attack for one. I can Battle Screech plus Journey. Is that on me or the Inspector? Okay. Well, I can only Battle Screech for two tokens now. Oh, hey, they've got... Okay, now I'm going to get whacked. For a lot. Okay. And a nine. Come on, bolt. I guess that's fine. Yep, alright. So we'll journey away the Swift Spear. So it can't hit me anymore. Play a Lunark Veteran. Play the Battle Screech. Flash it back. And then Garrison back at Winsguard Crag. And then hope there's not another in the festivities in my future. Probably should have journeyed this. Doesn't really matter. Because I don't think they're going to kill any of these. Yep, sweet. Thank Christ. Alright. 
one win away from a trophy. Did not cast a single prismatic strands that game, but they got stuck on too few lands, so we'll see how that happens again. I still don't think anything's really needed. Dawnbringers doesn't doesn't do anything against them. It stops Swift Spear a little bit, and that's about it. This is fine, except for the fact that there's no interaction. We'll, we'll keep and hope. So it's like turn one this, cycle for a mountain, turn two squadron hawk, get all of them, discard strands and battle screech. Well, at least I have some interaction now. Maybe I don't want to discard now because of the relic. That's fine, I'll do this. Cool. Well, they want to cast one of them, surely. So I think... I want a bitter reunion to try to find some lands. But then I'll only have the strands in the graveyard. I think I'll just seek a. I hope that they're stuck on lands. Which they seem to be. Excellent. Okay. So now I can. Do I whack in for three now? I like Battle Screech too much. For me to discard it. And Strands is also pretty good. But I think I still need to do this so I can get some life. I think it's got to be one of the screeches. Attack for three. Didn't hit a land, which is annoying. Goodbye, screech. Try another squadron hawk. I'm not drawing lands. It's another Squadron Hawk. Okay, well, I'm definitely bolting this. And playing a Squadron Hawk. So I can get the last one out so I don't draw it. Probably didn't need to get rid of the Alchemist, but I want to just keep, like, playing, like, killing my stuff. Okay, sure. Really don't want to see a Relic, do they? I mean, Prismatic Strains. Uh, I guess we'll go Inspector into Squadron Hawk. Attack for one. Don't really need to gain life off the Lunark Veteran, and I'd rather not die. Have all my creatures die to one, um... 
in the festivities. That's fine. Are we going to see an end of the festivities now? No. Okay. Land is good. Attack for two. Plant on a squadron hall. Got to keep the pressure up. Goal's going to be to try to like battle Screech with Bitter Reunion. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Sure. I'll just crack the clue. I don't need to pretend like I'm doing anything. Bolt's helpful. Swiss B is annoying. Don't end my festivities, please. I was having a good festivities. Disappointing. Journey's pretty good. Gets me a damage in as well. And squatty. We're going to have to start cracking relics eventually. Synth into synth. It's a chain lightning on me? Inspector, okay. And the other one, yep. Take four. Looting. I'll play the veteran. Attack for one. And I'll keep up strands for a turn. Yeah, uh, sure. Sure. Another battle screech. Guess I loot. I don't think double battle screech is great. Okay. Okay, what do we do here? I really don't know anymore. I guess I just try and battle screech two turns in a row.
Yep, okay. It was always going to happen. Crack synth. Gets land. Attack with both. We'll take. All right, well, guess now's as good a time as any. Yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> Probably could have thought of that. Again, another one. Three. Synthesizer? Yeah, that's not what I wanted to see. <sighs> Probably should have... Yeah, I think I'm dead. I had too many cards in hand. Like, do I just keep up strands the entire time? I was just choked on mana. Like they were on game two. And then I'm dead. Oh, sad way to go. Almost got the trophy. Ah, well. We'll probably misplayed somewhere there. Just too many different lines to take. But yeah, we'll wrap this deck up. Okay, so how'd we end up? 4-1, losing a very tight one at the end there to, yeah, lose the trophy. Very, very sad. So close. Uh, deck was great. It's pretty much just, like, white weenie. It's 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 a combo deck. It's It just aims to battle Screech plus rally the peasants. So we beat Blitz, we beat Kaldotha Red, we lost to Pinger Burn, we beat Terra, and we beat some white-black abomination so like we even survived we even <laughs> how many end the festivities and nauseas and suffocating fumes did we have to take and still manage to do all right it shows just how resilient the deck actually is so maybe this sideboard like is way too meta heavy on like familiars and affinity like affinity usually you never see in leagues so i can see like trimming down some of these for some uh, of the toughness giving enchantment that I keep forgetting the name of, Luma Threadfield, or like a um, Ramosian Rally, just to like give them a surprise, uh, so the pinger doesn't, the sweeper doesn't work, because I barely sighted in anything. Uh, Dawnbringer Cleric is probably like it's not even that great against Burn. We're already all right, so like maybe having. Another leave no traces, the hexproof option, or changing them to changing like get rid of some of these, adding a um, maybe you can even swap some of these for gorilla shamans, maybe change some of these to an uh, in the exile one that I can't remember the name of at this point in time. So then you've sort of covered that. As well, I guess Dawnbring is also there for um, makeshift munitions because that does give you quite a bit of hell as well. Uh, I don't really know what to say. The decks, like, I don't know if this. I kept citing this out, but it, it would have won me that last game if I like leveraged everything correctly. I just needed a couple more lands. Um, 
yeah, deck's good. What more to this? What, what's more to there to say? Which should really get played a bit more than what it actually is. It is just the better white weenie, I think. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Have a lovely rest of day. I'll see you in the next one.